Good morning, everyone. Welcome into North Dakota today. We are thrilled for Ooh. this next guest. Ice Cube, an award-winning musician, actor, director, producer, civil rights leader, and CEO and co-founder of the Big Three Professional 3-on-3 Three -three Basketball League. He has had one of the most successful careers in music history and in the entertainment industry. He has earned himself a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and he is taking his talents on the road and coming to <laughs> West Fargo next Friday. August 30th for a show at the Lights. Woohoo! And the icon himself is joining us live this morning here on North Dakota Today to chat about his career and the show. Good morning to you, Ice Cube. How you guys doing? What's up, Fargo? <laughs> yeah, we're so excited to have you. Yes, we are thrilled. We have so many fans here in studio just watching this, let alone all of the viewers at home excited to check in with you. Very cool, very cool. Can't wait to get there. Um, you know, uh, we we there on the thirtieth, uh, next next Friday, mm -hmm. I believe. Next, <laughs> next Friday. Yeah. Uh, um. You know, I, I can't wait. You know, I know, I've had a lot of support there over my whole career, and so it's gonna be cool to get a chance to see the fans live. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, we know that it's been a busy summer for you out on tour. Has how has it been out on the road? It's been great. You know. Um hitting a lot of spots, you know, that that uh that I usually don't hit. You know, I usually, you know, over my career just been going to, you know, these, you know, big major cities, but, you know, there's fans in 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 every, you know, kind of corner of the world that that want to see me. There's been fans for 30 years, almost 40 years in the game. So, you know, it's it's fun to get to them. Um you know, if you've been a fan that long, you know, you definitely deserve, you know, mm -hmm. uh, a show, you know, to get a chance to see me live, interact. Uh, you know, we do meet and greets and it's very cool. And, um, you know, I can't wait to get out there to Fargo. Yeah, that was one of my questions, actually, how your time has been in the Midwest and in rural cities. Very different than California growing up there. So it's nice, but it's been nice for you. Oh man, you know, I fit in wherever I go. You know, what yeah. I mean, it's always cool. It's always fun. Um, that's the, you know, one perk that you have being, you know, a, a, a musician or entertainer on tour. You get a chance to see, you know, the the great parts of of uh, of the world. You know, you get to mm -hmm. see, you know, places that you would never normally probably not have a chance to visit. So, you know, I cherish being able to. Uh, to check out these different places and uh, interact with the with the people and you know kind of give more of a sense of what the world is all about you know we can we can look at tv and see what it's about but when you really get out there you really know um it's a lot of drama on tv yeah. <laughs> and people you know are not you know not that dramatic when you meet them in person you know for real well, we love to hear that review. Okay, so getting your launch into stardom at such a young age with NWA, and then of course breaking out as a solo artist. We're all familiar with your incredible work from your music to your movies to your activism. Looking back though to young Mr. Jackson, did you ever predict that this was going to be your life and career as an artist? Not at all. You know, I just wanted to be, you know, accepted, you know, amongst my peers, you know, as a good artist. Uh, and you know, when you do one thing that that works, opportunities start to present themselves. And me, I'm never the one who let an opportunity go by. So, uh, you know, peeping my head in the door of opportunity here and there has, you know, led to this kind of career. And um, and you know, trusting myself, you know, uh, even though it might be new, a new venture, uh, you know. Uh, just trust yourself and, and go for it. And you'll be surprised. Uh, you, you, you'll be surprised what you can do. And uh, so that's what I've learned about myself. You know, if I, if I was able to talk to myself as a young man, I would say, keep doing what you're doing. Yep, definitely paying off. That's some incredible advice, really, this morning. Absolutely. Well, we are so happy to have you right in our backyard. Yeah. Well, can you tell us a little bit about the show? What can fans expect when they come out to the lights? Man, almost 35 years of music, uh, you know, from N.W.A. all the way to the new stuff, mm -hmm. um, you know, definitely giving you all the hits. You know, <laughs> if I don't do it, was a good day. 
<laughs> it's gonna be hell to pay. Yeah, so. there'll be riots. There'll be riots. Today was a good day. Also, no, I didn't mean to cut you off. I was gonna say it's not lost on us that we are interviewing you on a Friday. Mm -hmm. Like that was kind of poetic in and of itself, right? Definitely. You know, this is, <laughs> you know, my day. The, the NFL has Sunday, and I have Friday. So. Yes, sir. You sure do. <laughs> so, it's it's pretty cool to to you know go through this history of music. Um, you know, with the visuals, you know, so, you know, I do dibble into the movie career and just give people, you know, a, a full, you know, night of ice cube. And, um, <laughs> I think, you know, from what I, from what I hear when, when fans, you know, leave the arena that they're, you know, very happy and satisfied and, you know, want me to come back. So <laughs> hopefully this will be the start of something good. And I make my trip to Fargo, you know, every year or two. Well, we would love that. And obviously it is going well. VIP already completely sold out. General administration, though, still available. Mm -hmm. So we're okay. There's still yes. tickets left. But your fans are definitely going to be showing out in full force. <laughs> Hey, don't don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. Come come check me out next Friday. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so so much for taking the time this morning to chat with us and our viewers here live on North Dakota today. We so appreciate you. Anytime. See you soon. Yes, sir. Yeah. We'll see you soon. All right. A big reminder, folks at home. Ice Cube coming to West Fargo next Friday, August thirtieth. Was that real? I don't know. Was that real Did life? Pinch me. I don't know. <laughs> that was crazy, you guys. How much fun was that? All right. Stick around. More happening here on North Dakota today.